Well, this is never a good sign, logging into um, falling down to the world. <laughs> no idea how I got up there, but this is definitely going to hurt quite a bit. And I've been falling for a while before I started recording, so here we go. Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to ARK. I thought today I would take you on another flight, having previously taken you on a flight with the Pteranodon, who I unfortunately killed a couple days ago. Uh, I thought I would bring you back and introduce you to the newest member of at least my group of dinos, Arjoeem here. <laughs> this is an Argentavis, hence the name Arjoeem. And uh, these guys are awesome. So, like I said, I want to take you on a flight, talk a bit about these guys, tell you what I think is cool about them. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead and just hop on right here and head out of our place and over the tree line. So when I flew the Pteranodon, one of the things that was really cool about it was that you could scoop people up with the talons and uh, carry them places. And that's been great, transporting people around. We've done a lot of different missions using the Pteranodon Lucky, unfortunately. As I said, I killed him. Not so lucky. <laughs> but, um, and these guys do not pick up people. That's kind of the one downside right now is they can't scoop anybody up. That may be coming. I'm not sure I haven't followed it closely, but I think that's kind of the one downside. But the upside of these guys is much cooler. Now, what is that? These guys actually don't have to be put back down on the ground to rest. So I can actually sprint here and use my stamina and really get going with this guy. And eventually I will run out of stamina, but I don't have to go to the ground. I would just be suddenly back to my normal speed, like this. And if I actually let go, you can hover. You don't go down. He just spreads his wings. He'll come to a stop where we won't be moving anywhere but we also don't go down and the stamina goes up. So you can fly infinitely with these guys, which is really, really cool. So we have flown across the map, looked at Marquis, uh, who runs the server. We've looked at his base and just kind of flown around and checked places out. One of the things I want to do is get up to the volcano top and show you guys that it's so cool. So please do stay tuned for another video in the future. I think I'll take you up there and show you what that's all about. But. Like I said, these guys are awesome. Because of the stamina thing, because these guys go pretty quick when you're sprinting, I've actually put a good chunk of points into that, into my stamina. If I bring open my uh, guy here, you can see that for stamina we've got 540. I've been ramping quite a bit into that. I've also been throwing some into weight so I can carry even more uh, items because I like the idea of taking this guy on runs to go get medals, for example, and that stuff is heavy, super heavy. So anyway, that's that's a really good thing about these guys. Additionally, these guys are pretty tough. They fight pretty well. I've been putting some points into the melee and health as well. Mostly the stamina and some weight. But um, these guys are great. They're just so cool. Look how big these guys are too. Huge wingspan. And just the infinite flight is amazing. It really changes the way... Uh, you know, the, the game plays. The world becomes smaller, as I told friend Kenneth. It's like, everything's so much smaller now because you can get places. The world does not feel small. It's just nice that you can actually go from one side to the other. It still takes a little while, <laughs> but it's much, much faster than going on foot. These guys are very cool. So taming these guys was pretty tough. We actually went with the Pteranodon, and uh, I carried Kenneth in the Talons, flew over to this area around the mountains, and uh, he would shoot them and draw their aggro. We trained them back to the base, where we then thumped them over the head and uh, tamed them with narcotics. Now what I ended up finding out later, it was easier when I thought about it, once we had the first two birds, Kenneth and I each had one, was that I took mine over, this guy over by myself, would aggro one of the birds, I would just kind of fly up to him, smack him, then let him chase me, and I would just kind of look over my back and make sure he was staying close, and I would slow down, I would kind of pause a bit to let him catch up, and I just pooped. <laughs> Airborne, oh no, look he's after me. <laughs> so I would let these guys kind of catch up to me and um, bite me a little bit because as you can see in the top right, the plus sign, I am not taking really any damage from these guys. They don't they do not do much because I've ramped up some health on there. So pretty much just like you see here, I was, I was basically just flying, let them nibble on me a little bit and uh, get them to follow me back to the base. You can see their heads, they kind of clip into me as I go. 
but we can definitely outrun them. It's it's interesting. The actual uh, the birds themselves that you are not flying, they seem to break off after a bit and they need to land. Even though they still have aggro, they actually go down to the ground for some reason. Even though when you fly them, there's no stamina required, they seem to want to take a break. So anyway, they were pretty easy to get away from, but I bait, I tried to kind of bait them into our base and and uh, bring them in there so all of us could kind of join in on the fun and uh, taming them. <laughs> At this point we now have five of these guys in the base which is really cool. We are going to go fly out sometime. I, I kept yelling V formation! V formation! So we're gonna go out and do that sometime. The most we've had together now is three kind of flying out and adventuring but or maybe it was four. But we do want to take all five out and maybe with Vortac uh, playing here maybe we'll try to get him uh, taming one so we can do six. That would be pretty awesome. But anyway, that's it. I just really quickly wanted to show you what these guys were all about, explain kind of the difference between these guys and the Pteranodons, and uh, that is just about it. I do want to thank you guys for stopping by, and uh, once again I would say please check out the video that I'll have coming in the future. Oh, we got a little bit of a uh, hang up trying to get up the mountain here. Sometimes when I get close to the mountain I get a little bit of lag first get there but uh, anyway as I was saying stay tuned for the next video where I think what I'll do is show you what is up in this volcano a uh, little hint it would be a very cool place to set up a base I think if it weren't for the water situation anyway thanks again for stopping in everybody appreciate it and I'll catch you next time